Now to our next very special guest, and I'm having a bit of a fangirl moment here. The National Film and Sound Archive has today named film critic Margaret Pomerantz as its first ambassador. They couldn't do better. It's part of a program to raise awareness of the importance of preserving Australia's audiovisual heritage. And she's here with us. Margaret Pomerantz, good morning. Welcome to News Breakfast. How lovely to be here. Thank you. Uh, do you know how hard we tried <laughs> during your time on at the movies to get you on this couch? And here you are. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, it's nice to have you. Congratulations on the new job. I know this is something that really, really has always mattered to you. The, the film heritage of our country? Uh, well, uh, when I had the movie show on mm. SBS, I never threw out an interview. I've got the first ever, or they have, <laughs> the first ever interview with Russell Crowe on The Crossing. All right. So, uh, you know, I've always believed in storing stuff up because mm. you never know how valuable it's going to be. And we have this institution that, I mean, if anybody asked me to do anything, and that I would love to do. Yeah, it's, it's the NFSA. Why, why should we put, be putting extra effort into preserving our film and TV heritage in this country? Do you know, I, it's, I saw a film the other day called Suffragette, and at the end of it, it has the real footage of the suffragettes in no, the early 1900s, and it's such a moving mm. moment. Coming down here, I'm doing an interview on stage with David Gulpilil, he made a film in 1973 called Showing Melbourne to Manningra. And it's not a very sophisticated effort. It's from the National Film and Sound Archive. It's David when he was 20, arriving in Melbourne on a plane, getting off, wandering around, <laughs> having a meal. And then the other half is back in Manningra. And it's sort of like, it's so beautiful to see that footage and know it's preserved. Well, look, there's a great challenge now to, in preserving all of that stuff, but also a great advantage. Digitisation just must mean uh, a, a great um, future and a safe future now for so much of the material that we do have. Well, uh, that's not even safe. I really? mean, it constantly needs upgrading right. to ensure, you know, that it's going to last forever. And we want everything to last forever. So there's, uh, I mean... I think what the NFSA wants me to do is focus on how necessary it is to support this organisation financially. Well, I was going to ask you, so what is the funding situation for the organisation? Have you had your funding cut, as many arts organisations have done in the last 12 months? I think they've had a hard time. Mm -hmm. And I think that now, I mean, we want to make everything available to everybody. Digitisation has made that very possible. And it means that people can partake, but if they gave back, that would be great too. It's a great new job you've got. What else have you been doing, Margaret, since I'm, the end of the movie show? I'm with Alvin Purple. I know you are. On screen, I know. on Foxtel. So, so, so she, she's, she's such a mix. She abandons David Strait and says, oh, that's an old model, I'm um, getting a new one. Yes. And then goes and gets herself Graham Blundell on, uh, on, pay, on pay TV. I know. It's so nice to be wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you're, too, you're too nice to It's a very different dynamic. It's a very different energy. And also, it's a, it's a broader show because it's about screened stuff. Yes. So any screen. Yes. This screen, TV screen, right. which is and the environment we're in. Yeah, now. exactly. So, no, it's fun. And Graham's, you know, I, I was very lucky to go jump from David to Graham. Yeah. He's really nice. You get some nice dance partners. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So is he still, you know, sexy like he was when he was Elvin Absolutely. Purple? Absolutely. No, he's not. Oh, stop it, you two. <laughs> hey, do you, miss, do you miss David, though? You must miss David. He's got a special oh, place in your heart, hasn't yes, he? Yes, he does. And, I mean, we're in constant... Uh, contact anyway when he's not on cruises. He's, he's on cruises. cruises. He's on a cruise. Oh, how hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> he's turned into Captain Stooping. <laughs> um, now, there's. Uh, I would imagine usually when the great duos break up, um, they they're urged back together and they come back together for you know some sort of show somewhere sometime. Is that a possibility for you too? Well, no, but we do film festivals. We did, yes. uh, you know, Sydney Film Festival. We're both down here at the Melbourne Film yeah. Festival. Um, no, I don't think Foxtel would quite like that. You know, I, I meant a they... one-off or something. Oh, Foxtel, no, they wouldn't like that at no, all. No, yeah. no. Oh, well. I mean, it's me and Graham now. <laughs> you can but dream, Virginia. <laughs> Maybe no, one day. I'm just being naughty. Enjoy yourself at the film festival. There's a David Gulpil retrospective, I think. Is that right? Is it Gulpil rep retrospective, and I'm doing a conversation with him on Saturday. Oh, fantastic. It includes, of course, Walkabout, I would imagine, the Gulpil. That, yeah. that magic movie. scene from yes. with him dancing right. around the house. Uh, uh. It's one of the great moments. And in it, la it lasts that film, doesn't it? That yeah, really it does. Yeah. It's incredible. I haven't seen that 
in a long time. I'd like to see that again. Margaret, so nice to see you. It's lovely that you invited me. Thank no, you. Anytime. Thanks so, Thanks so much. Thank you.